How you doing today? Bilsif here. Me? Bilsif? So anyways, as you've seen there in my last video there from a couple days ago, I think it was. Freaking right it was. Um, I put that little 5 watt panel in the window, eh? She wasn't working, boys, okay? Not enough juice on the, the old panel, eh? So, uh, I picked up this, uh, this old, uh, high quality premium solar module I did, eh? Hold on, one more. The fruit seeds. Anyway, like I was saying, I picked up this high quality premium solar module I did. Got the old oil change done on the old sport track I did from the good old a and &E radiators, eh? Opener up he did in Strathroy, Ontario, eh? Any, uh, mechanic tree work done or anything like that, go see him, man. He's A plus, he is. Freaking right he is. If there's anything good on there, I'll share it with you. Where the hell would I? Morning, everybody. My name's Marty. New owner of a and &E Radiator and Automotive Incorporated. We're going to be located at 28 Zimmerman Street if you want to come down and see me. Just picked up old Bilsif's truck here. He called me up and wanted an oil change. So service him all up at a fair price. And uh, as always, honesty is our policy. Right? Drive my truck. I better watch what he's doing. Hey? Another day, another dollar, boys and girls. I can write it is. Why wouldn't it be? Hey? Oh, well. Four more days, eh? Four more friggin' days, boys and girls. Frick sakes. Four more days than a project. Anybody got any old chainsaws that they don't want? Send her my way, why wouldn't you, eh? Even though you just never send me anything. Why would you? But anyways, not too much to tell you. Just kind of relaxing, driving home, looking at the old wind turbines of turret, eh? Full of wind turbines this way they are. Friggin' right it ain't working. Friggin' right it is. There it goes. Look at them things, boys and girls, eh? Where the hell are ya? It's focused on my antenna for Christ's sakes. See my antenna there, boys? There she is, eh? Look at her blow in the wind. Why wouldn't you? Why would it focus on anything but the antenna? Look at them things over there. Just the turn in the air, eh? Why wouldn't they? Friggin' Canada and their green energy, boys and girls. It costs us more money than it's worth, it does. Why wouldn't it? Hey? What the hell? Let me... Yeah, I don't mind this little camcorder. It's definitely small, eh? It's not the greatest quality, boys and girls, but it gives you the long shot it does, eh? Picture's better than no picture, I think, eh? Why wouldn't it be? Might have to stop the new Timmy Hortons there and get myself a coffee, even though I don't really drink Tim Hortons anymore, but I haven't had a coffee because where I work now in Strathroy, they don't have a coffee machine. So I can't get free coffee anymore. I'm having coffee withdrawals, I am. Where are you going, bud? Get your own side of the freaking road. This camera's got... Bills of stabilization, eh? And I am 44 years old, so... You're not gonna get much of a stabilization out of these old hands, I tell you. <laughs> oh. oh, hey, Jim. Thanks for uh, recording that wind turbine back there for me while I was driving, bud. I appreciate that, eh? Why wouldn't you? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 hold on. Oh, 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 How the frig did you get into that, Tim Hortons? What's really going on? Opening soon. Oh, it's not open yet, for frig sakes. Why wouldn't you be? Unbelievable. Well, you're... I don't know much anything anymore. You're not too exciting. Why are you calling me then? What, you must be wanting to see me or something. Huh? I said you must be wanting to see me if you're calling me. Well, I'll fucking have talk to you in like a week. Alright. So, what do you want to do? I don't know. <laughs> Let me show when you go. Why wouldn't I? I'm almost home too, so. Why, would, why wouldn't you? I don't know. Alright. Alright. Ciao. Alright, now that maybe I get five minutes without any distractions, eh? Let's open this bad boy up, we will. So this thing, uh, it come from Amazon, eh? It's an Amazon panel. It, uh, it was, uh, I think, $153.99, eh? And that come with the charge controller, too. The charge controller is probably not the best, but let's open it up and take a look. Why wouldn't we? Look at that, boys. Can you see it? Holy. Yeah, we did. So anyways, 
It come with this little charge controller it did. Hey? Solar charge control -y. Why wouldn't it? Let's uh let's get our little old bag of Ruski here and take a boo. So look, it's pretty simple, eh? Panel goes in here, out to battery, to lights, eh? And uh, you could probably auto set it so it shuts off. Oh look, you can even charge your cell phone, boys, eh? Freaking right you can. So anyways, yeah, there's a charge control. That's pretty decent. Hey? Oh good, boys. I was wondering if it come with these. Freaking right it did. So it, co it comes with the regular, you know, solar panel connections, eh? It also come with the adapters it did. So that's a good thing. Freaking right it is. So it says maximum power it makes is 50 watts, open circuit current, 22.4 volts, short circuit, 2.9 amps, eh? Premium operational voltage is 17.8. Freaking right. 15 amp panel, boys. That's decent, eh? Look at that, boys. That will charge the old battery up, won't it? Freaking right. And then in the summertime, I'll be able to put her on my trailer, I will. That's the main reason why I got it, eh, for the trailer. Freaking right it is. But we're going to play with it over the winter here in the garage and uh, see what's what. Freaking right. So I'll be back with the installation. Why wouldn't I? So anyways, when you want to hook in this thing up, boys and girls, you just want to make sure you pick the right one for positive negative, eh? So just look at this, that says positive right on it. Pretty simple stuff, eh? And it clips into that one, it does. So we know that this one here is positive on this, eh? So you look for the old positive and you stick her in the hole, Jim. It's gonna be trimmed down, it's too long. Too long, why wouldn't it be? Why the hell wouldn't it be? Where the hell they put them cutters already? How do I possibly lose cutters so fast? All right, here we go, boys. So we'll cut some of that off, like that. We need a little slot screwdriver, we do. We'll put this, hopefully you can see me, I don't have my case on this friggin' doodad right now, so stick this into the old positive side, we will. Make sure you get her in there pretty good, boys. Why wouldn't you, hey? Eh? Still a little too long, boys. I don't know if anybody else is like me, but I don't like having wires sticking out. That's, you know, just a perfect example of short-circuiting something if you're not careful, eh? So make sure, make sure you get her all the way in, boys. There's one, boys. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good grab on them too. Frick yeah. Cut the next one down a little bit, hey? And we'll uh, loosen this one off. Stick her in the hole, Jim. Why wouldn't you? Hey, why wouldn't you? So there we go, that's all to hook it up them two, eh? There you go. So then we just, uh, right, once we get that far. So let's go over here and uh, we'll mount her to the wall, we will. So we'll move all this crap out of the way. We'll move this crap out of the way. Because I'm getting in the way again. So, let's see where Buzz want to set this. Freaking right there, boys. Frig yeah. Are you watching this? So the cords are only this long. So guess what? Where the hell am I going to put it? So the only place I can really put it is right there, boys. Where's she going to have to go for now? So we'll just stab it here for now, okay? Why wouldn't we, you know? All right, boys. That should work for now. We'll zip tie them down somewhere. Now that I got that mounted in there, eh? We want to go from here, positive negative, to the battery, we do. So, let's get the positive feeds from the old battery. Positive has a line, boys, since I've just used an old extension cord. Why wouldn't I? So, what do you say, boys? Positive has lines? All right, then. So, positive to battery is here and you probably can't see because i'm just not enough room over here boys oh well, it's all how you hold your tongue eh it's all in how you hold your tongue it is there's one eh i think i got too much power to charge one battery though boys i think this thing is just gonna give her on the old battery it is oh i missed the hole boys i missed the hole i should plug these in first so i can see what the heck i'm really going on i can't see nothing there we go so now we want to go down here and hook it up to the battery boys so, we want positive, which is a stripe to the battery. Like this. There we go. We want negative to the battery. Like so. Now, you need a fuse, inline fuse, between the battery and the charge controller. But, I gotta pick one up, boys. Freaking right, I do. So, we got 11.9 volts in the battery. Hey, boys, I have to sit back and read the instructions I do on this charge controller because it's different than my other one, it is. So. I'll be back once I figure it out. Okay, boys and girls, got this thing figured out. So, how it works is, 
The battery was toast, by the way. So when I put it on 15, it's manual mode, eh? You can set it so when it gets dark out, it automatically turns the light on, and when it gets bright out, it automatically turns it off, right? Which is good if I'm not in the garage and want it on in the daytime, right? Because it's dark in here sometimes. Freaking right it is. So I got to set the manual mode right now. So basically how it works is all you do is hit the button, and it shuts the light off, eh? Hit the button again, up oh, turns it on. Freaking right. So that's how that works. So the charge controller does automatically not overcharge the battery, eh? So that's awesome. It's automatic default set at like 3.57 or something. 3.5 or 3.7 or something like that. I don't know where the instructions went, but that's what it is, eh? Solar stuff's pretty cool, eh? Friggin' right. So I'll tell you the modes this, this little doodad here works at. So there's a few codes on it, like an EO, E1, E2, E4, and E5, and E6, eh? So basically, EO is no error. Um, E1 is battery over discharge, so I was getting an E1 code, so the battery was dead. Well, over discharged, eh? E2 is battery over voltage. E4 is short circuit. E5 is overload. And E6 is controller inner temperature overheated, eh? So basically, zero is pure light control mode, which means when it gets dark, it comes on. When it gets bright, it goes off, eh? 14 is, oh, this is cool, boys. One to 14 is light control, time control, eh? So if you go, if you put on one, it's one, it stays on for one hour, two, two hours, three, three hours, four, four hours. You know how it works, eh? Right up to 14. So you can put up to 14 hours, boys. Uh, 15 is manual mode, which I showed you over there. You hit the button, it comes on, you hit the button, it goes off. 16 is debugging mode, eh? Whatever the hell debugging mode means. In case of six volt with light signal, the load will shut off in case of a five volt variance drop. So that's what 16 is. 17, normal mode. You can shut off so it doesn't use the LEDs, obviously. It just stays in input state. So it just charges the battery and doesn't use it. That's what that means. <laughs> I figured it out. Freaking right it did. So anyways, yeah, that's a pretty simple, easy controller it is. Freaking right it is. That's awesome, boys. LED screen does not light up, boys. Anyways, so yeah, that's how she works. Simple, simple, brothers, hey? Simple, uh, simple. It is. I'm trying to see where it shows what's what, boys. Normal battery, all on. Over discharge, only the... Only the... Outline flashes. And over voltage, three dashes flashes, hey? How about if it stays on? Normal battery, all on. Okay, well that's because of friggin' battery chargers on it. That's why it's abnormal. But anyways, boys, that's a pretty easy setup, that is, eh? That's a pretty straightforward little unit it is. So this edit's gonna be a nightmare because I've been all over the place, eh? Say yes, oh no, yes, yes, and no, and yes, and you. Why wouldn't I? But anyways, there you go, boys. She's at 13.2 just because the charger's on it. She's at 100%, the battery's at 100%. So 13.2 is 100%, eh? Friggin' right. But for some reason, when I disconnect it, watch how fast this thing discharges, boys. Cause the light's still on. Look, 97, 12, 5, 87. Battery's junk, boys, Hey, okay? Walmart battery, dead. Friggin' right it is. What the frig, I'm gonna have to get another battery. I'll have to steal a battery out of the van, I will. Friggin' right I will. And that's why my solar system was getting killed from that stupid battery. God's sakes. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this little video of the old solar quickie quickie installation, eh? But uh, hopefully everybody had a good day and didn't do anything I didn't do and uh... You know what to do for now.